What's up guys? Okay, here we go. We are on the Kayabab. We got camp set up and we're gonna get ready to go hunt some deer. We've got uh, we got Pat over here. He's our cook this uh, for this 10 days. We've got the Kodiaks set up for the clients. Got them set up with heaters, cots, the whole nine lights. Me, TJ, and uh, Carter are in the Alaknak. So, opening day, Kaibab deer hunt is tomorrow. Sleeping on the job. What's up guys? What's up guys? <laughs> so me and JB here are out. It's the first evening of the Kaibab early rifle deer hunt. And uh, JV Drew, and he is also a Zero Guide Fee member. Several categories. Yes sir. Antelope and elk. And he'll be Utah and Nevada when we get all that online. So We got a buck down here. Yeah, nice buck. Nice young buck. We're going to hold off on though. Him. Yeah, we're going to let him. We're picky. We're going to let him stay in his bed and get some Z's. We still got probably two hours before it gets dark, and uh, we're just start moving. Yep, we'll find them in their beds though. But it's nice. Yeah, we found it. He's there. Yep. They're right looking right at us. He don't give a rip. Nope. No, he thinks he's invisible. Yeah. So, all right, guys, he's stay not tuned. Three hundred R U M. Yeah. <laughs> Dump him. Number two, got coffee. We got the rig loaded up, and uh, now we're getting ready to take off. So. Morning number three here. We just got done, walked out on this point and glassed a whole bunch of country. JV here is just, he's being picky. I've turned up multiple 200 inch deer, and he just doesn't, they're not big enough. Yet. I don't understand the deer size yet. <laughs> I was looking for six inches, he kept on telling me 200, and I don't get it. <laughs> Anyway, we saw a decent buck, but just not quite there. Would have required walking. <laughs> it's, not, it's not in my vocabulary. No, they gotta be closer to the road. Yep. <laughs> no, but we're we're seeing deer. They're uh, just haven't seen the right deer yet. Bunch of bunch of little bucks, a couple 160 class bucks, bunch of does, fawns. But it, the later in the hunt, the better it's gonna get. It's early, it's early, early, early. We got time. Yeah, and it's been pretty warm, so. Um, there's Very no warm. doubt, yeah. There's no doubt they're gonna start pushing out and into the open, start a little pre-rut action here soon. But no, we'll get the video when he's he's carrying it out for me. <laughs> Believe me, I'll be video man for that. One. Yeah, I'll I'll let him video a little bit if he can keep up with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the caboose, man. There's nothing wrong being a caboose. <laughs> We're gonna go back to camp and have breakfast and uh, see what everybody else is up to and. Go for, go for the afternoon plan. Yeah, make up an afternoon plan. So, we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, what up, guys? So, we're pretty much just running these rims and fingers um, out towards the canyon, trying to turn up deer. There's sign everywhere. The deer are pushing through here. It's just being at the right place at the right time. And uh, I'm working back up off this finger, and I just spotted a shed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This one. Big old three point. Right by a rub. Heck yeah. We'll pack that back. Sure. I don't know if anybody's been out here for a while. That's an older shed. So. Probably the other side's not laying right here somewhere. But let's get back to finding deer. <laughs> You're gonna be the first. Alright, so here we are all sitting around camp. TJ right there. <coughs> he's uh he's the guide of the hour tonight. His his hunter. Guy. 
he killed himself a stud. Look at that bad boy. ZGF. Man. Look at them awesome eye guards. Funny feeling in my stomach. I told him we came out of the state road shed and ran into a jeep. Oh my goodness! So we had another. Right on his ass. Uh, That's a dandy. Got a deer this morning. Okay, yeah, so What's he about? Seventeen? Up here? No, down. down. Fourteen inside. Well, close. Got, uh, Fourteen inside. All right, guys. <laughs> so, I just got to show you the the, ingenu the ingenuity that t goes on on the kebab. <laughs> Brake lights out. Don't want to get pulled over. <laughs> We're gonna drop a flashlight in there. <laughs> Good old Pat. Oh, this is our crazy. camp cook. He's a stud. I'll turn the light off so you can see. <laughs> yeah, flashlight's just sitting in there glowing. <laughs> Good old Pat. He's a hell of a cook. We love having him as our cook. What's up guys? So it's uh, day six of the hunt. We just got back to camp from the warning hunt. And um, while we've been out here, we've also had uh, the Hunt for Heroes guys out here. Tom Wagner and, and one of his guys, Bob, have uh, been out hunting. And they filled their tag last night, uh, just before it got dark. and. I kind of wanted to just have to explain to you guys what their organization is about and uh, kind of fill you guys in on, on it all. So, Hi, my name is Tom Wagner. I'm with the Arizona Elk Society. I'm the lead coordinator for the Hunts for Heroes program. And in Arizona, we work in conjunction with the Arizona Game and Fish, a partnership uh, to help disabled vets go out hunting. Uh, in Arizona, you can donate your tag, and my, my job is to go ahead and find a disabled vet that have, has applied they meet the criteria that the uh, state legislature has put together, and we take them hunting for free. We take That's care of awesome. the camp, the food, get out there. And afterwards, we even have a, a processor that will go ahead and process the game animal for free for them. And oh, we also, yeah. we're going to have a, a European mount done on this. So uh, we're, we're not, quite, not quite, or I guess we're just two years old. Uh -huh. We did uh, about 45 hunts last year. We're going to do 90 this year. Oh, wow. Uh, including elk, antelope. Deer, last December we even had a desert sheep tag donated to us. We've had two buffalo tags donated. That's awesome. When the guys are out there on deployment, they have their own brotherhood. They've got guys that in, in their uh, jargon, is, the other guys have got their six. And when they come back, you know, life is not maybe quite the same. And our motto is healing through hunting. We get them out there in the woods so they can kind of relax, chill, get involved with hunting a little bit. 50% of the guys have never hunted big game before. So it's just a way for us to give back to the guys who gave so much out there. And it's just uh, a lot of volunteers that really come on board with it too. So it's really a neat deal. That's awesome. I know we've had a ball with you guys in camp. You guys, you guys have been great. We've had fun sitting around the fire every night, chatting, just having a good old time. So we're glad to be a part and help, help where we can. And hopefully we can continue to do the exact same thing with you guys. So That's awesome. We appreciate it very much. So what do you think? Did you have fun? Absolutely. Did I you did. harvest? I did. I had Heck an yeah. amazing time. My the guide you guys gave me, TJ. Amazing work. I, I couldn't over hide behind the tree. <laughs> of what he did for us and for me, and what you what you did for us. And Heck yeah. I mean, I'm just over the moon and thank you. This was your first deer since you were what 12? Yeah, sixth grade. So sixth yeah, grade. that's awesome, so. dude. That's so badass. Congrats. So, yeah, that's about uh, the extent of it all. And you know, we've like I said, we've had a, we've had a lot of fun. They've been awesome to have in camp. And uh, hopefully we'll start seeing more of, of what he's got going um, in more camps down the road. So now it's breakfast time. We're going to go grub and uh, sit back, relax, and hopefully formulate a game plan for this evening. So see you guys in a bit. Well, we are on day <laughs> eight, uh, 15, day or eight. 15 or 16. Yeah, we're on day eight. And Basically, we, in third world countries, Josh and I are married at this stage. <laughs> You're common this law. At this stage. <laughs> We it's finally found a buck, finally. Dude, this stuff, this hunt's been so tough. We've been all over this country 
first two days we saw a lot of great bucks. I mean, they're about there, almost there, but since then we haven't been able to turn nothing up but little bucks and Tough does. sledding for the A-team. Yes. But so. We persevered tonight, Josh found some, so we yeah. tomorrow morning. We hiked out to this big old canyon and Day lo and nine. behold, see what happens. there they are. There's, but, a, there's a moon for you. Yeah, we got this awesome moon I want to get on video coming up. Let's see if we can get a clear shot. This thing looks giant. I know it's not going to reflect the same on the video, but... Look at that thing. So... We, uh... We're hunting in the morning. We're going to hunt until it gets... Well, he, I got to have him back to St. George at a certain time to catch the shuttle to get to Vegas, but... We're hunting, so hope we can turn this buck back up and go lay the hammer to him. All right, we're sitting here glassing, looking for that buck we seen last night. Check out that moon, it's still up. I think it's so big. Here we go. Found the shed. Well guys, the hunt has come to an end. Camp is getting tore down. Uh, tomorrow is actually the last day. So we've got actually one more client still in, gonna still be in camp with Jabe. But uh, as you can see, almost everybody else is packed up and gone. We're gonna be second to last out. So get everything packed up, loaded on that trailer and away we go.